हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्योर मिश्रा वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल विजन केयर एडवाइजर फ्रेंड्स टूडे इज टॉपिक इज बैक्रियोसिस्टाइटिस वट इज बैक्रियोसिस्टाइटिस बैक्रियोसिस्टाइटिस इज द इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द लेक प्राइमल सेक ड्यू टू ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इन द नेजो लेक प्राइमल डक्ट दैट इज कॉजिंग टीयर्स टू स्टेगनेट इट मीन्स फ्लूड इज कलेक्टेड इन द नेजो लेक प्राइमल डक्ट एंड इट ओवरफ्लोज As we know, tears are produced by the lacrimal glands collected into puncta. It drains into canaliculi and then through the lacrimal sac and lacrimal duct before draining into the nasal cavity. Etiology: Dacrocystitis is often caused by a blockage in the nasolacrimal duct, which can be classified based on its duration, means acute or chronic, and onset, means congenital or acquired. okay acute dacrocystitis refers to a recent onset of symptoms which is presents less than 3 months while chronic dacrocystitis presents since long and it requires surgical intervention acute dacrocystitis is typically caused by a blockage in the nasolacrimal duct leading to infection by bacteria such as staphylococcus aureus streptococcus pneumoniae or hemophilus influenzae chronic dacrocystitis may be due to long standing blockage which can lead to chronic infection with less pronounced symptoms congenital dacrocystitis is often due to blockage in the valve of hessner which is located in the distal portion of the nasolacrimal duct this can lead to neonatal dacrocystitis if amniotic fluid is not expelled from the nasolacrimal system shortly after birth acquired causes of dacrocystitis can result from aging systemic disorder trauma surgeries and certain medications symptoms or clinical features so patient can experience pain and redness in the area around the lacrimal sac near the medial canthus swelling in the same area which can be due to touching epiphora due to blockage of tear drainage and a discharge from the puncta upon pressure over the sac diagnosis so pressure over the lacrimal sac may experience purulent material from the puncta imaging or dacrocystography may be used in chronic cases to determine the location and extent of the blockage culture of the expressed material can help to identify the positive organisms prevention so friends early treatment of nasal lacrimal duct obstruction can prevent the development of dacrocystitis regular eye examination can also help to detect the potential problems with the tear drainage system before they become severe now come to the most important part that is treatment so friends acute dacrocystitis requires antibiotic therapy to treat the infection so oral antibiotics are often prescribed and in severe cases intravenous antibiotics may be necessary apply warm compress and gentle massage to the inner canthal region for 5 to 10 minutes and four times a day once infection has restored evaluate the potency of the nasal lacrimal duct system with probing and irrigation if an obstruction is present then surgical correction is required In cases of chronic dacrocystitis, start to manage with antibiotics, but surgical correction is required. That is dacrocystorhinostomy with silicone intubation. In chronic cases, surgical correction is helpful to restore proper tear drainage. I hope this short video would be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more informative videos.